What's up? This is Boxing Combo. And before I give you my official prediction on the Nonita Donier and Manuel Vargas fight, I want to get at you with the undercard fights. For those who may not know who, who's going to be on the undercard, I'm going to tell you, you're going to have two guys from the Philippines versus two guys from here from Puerto Rico. Um, let's start off with Getty Penas uh, Penas Penalosa. Getty Penalosa, the last time I saw him was he, he, he fought here in Puerto Rico versus Juan Ma Lopez on HBO After Dark where Juan Ma Lopez won in the 8th, ninth round I believe because Freddy Roach stopped the fight and uh, but the thing was that that I was looking at that fight and the thing was that Getty Penalosa was really never hurt he was never tired it just didn't make sense to move on because Juan Ma Lopez was winning all the rounds and Gotti Penalosa would get one two shots off and Juan Ma would get like 20 30 shots off so it just you know why keep the fight so it was better off to stop the fight but Gotti Penalosa demonstrated to me at 122 being shorter being older was able to take uh, take the punch of Juan Ma which is a very good he's a he's a pretty he hits pretty hard so and he's known for hitting pretty hard, Juan Ma Lopez. And Getty Penalosa was taking all his shots. And Juan Ma Lopez hit him like a billion times. And he never hurt Penalosa, uh, like uh, never really badly hurt him. So, you know, I, that demonstrates to me that he could take a punch. And he was dealing with a real fast, real athletic Juan Ma Lopez. So now he's going to fight Eric Morel, which I've seen Eric Morel fight many, many times here in Puerto Rico. Eric Morel. He has he packs no power in his punch. He packs absolutely no power. He's very technical. He, he moves around in the ring a lot. It's very hard to hit him. It's just uh, that type of guy who's tried. He he wins based on points th throughout every round. It, it, it actually gets to the point where the fight turns to being boring. Um, but no disrespect to Eric Mortar, I think he's a very intelligent fighter, very strategic, very smart. You know, he, he's had his bad and bad nights sometimes. I guess he just kind of gets frustrated once in a while. But he's a very good technical fighter. He's, he's very athletic. Um, you know, so it's just based on, let me give you my prediction on that fight also. I think that Eric Mortar might win this. Well, I'll, I'll say Eric Mortar wins by decision. Eric Mortar will win by decision over Kerry Penalosa because Kerry Penalosa is older now. Uh, he's gonna Kerry Penalosa. He's a very action type fighter, and he's gonna have a hard time looking for Eric Mortar. Eric Mortar, you know, he, he's just he's very light on his feet. He's moving around the ring. It's gonna be kind of real boring fight. It wouldn't even surprise me if Kerry Penalosa would come out with the win. But I predict that uh, Mr. Eric Mortar. Uh, will win that that uh will win that fight Una uh, not unanimous decision he'll probably win split decision but he'll win by decision uh decision win for Eric Mortar over Gary Penalosa now let me, let me give you the other fight this fight will be Bern uh Bernepi Concepcion also from the Philippines versus Mario Santiago if y'all remember the vid I did uh about uh Luano when Luano fought Juanma last Saturday I believe it was or before that um, Luano, if you would have seen his record, he only had uh, one loss, one draw, and I don't know how many title defenses, but you know, he had a lot of fights. He had like 30 something fights, never been knocked out until Wama. Wama knocked him out. But he had one draw. He had one draw. Um, that one draw was with Mario Santiago here, from here, from Puerto Rico. Mario Santiago, if you, if you look up Mario Santiago versus Luano, you can find that on, on pay per view, I believe. Anyway, Mario Santiago, he, he's not a hard hitter either, you know, he's not more, much of a power puncher. Uh, he, he's a, I rate him as a class B type fighter. I think, I think he's pretty much on the same level of a Luano, you know, they had a tie. So he's pretty much on that level. And this, Bern, this Concepcion guy, I've seen him fight, I think once, and he's very athletic. He's shorter, you know, so uh, Mario Santiago has a height advantage which I forgot to mention that Eric Morel also has a height advantage over Penalosa. Anyway, let me give you my prediction quick. This Concepcion guy, he's a hard hitter. He's a heavy hitter. That's what I saw from that one fight. If I'm not confusing him, I hope I'm not giving you the wrong information here, but I think that Concepcion guy, he's a very hard, heavy, heavy hitter. I'm going for Penalosa. I'm going for that, uh, for uh, Getty Concepcion. I, my decision, my uh, prediction is Concepcion will win uh, by knockout. I think he's going to knock Mario Santiago out. That's how I see that happening. 
uh, you know, I'll be rooting my boy Mario Santiago, you know, hope he does the thing, but I think that he's gonna lose, and he, he could probably lose by a knockout. This Concepcion guy, man, this guy's an action type fighter. And uh, let's get straight to the Nonito Donier. Let's see if I have enough time versus Manuel Vargas. It's, it's, it's a crazy fight. You know, I think Manuel Vargas is actually from a low weight class, so he's moving up to fight Nonito Donier, which is a very heavy, you know, he's a heavy hitter. Y'all remember him from the big Dorginian fights, you know, big Dorginian knocked Dornier out once and Dornier knocked him out once. It, it was crazy. It was a nasty knockout. It was a very exciting fight. You know, Nito Dornier is a very exciting fighter. This fight is pay-per-view. Uh, you know, if it was like a $15 pay-per-view, I would probably buy the, the, the pay-per-view to watch it. But, you know, I don't even know how, how much it costs. It's probably too expensive and it's not, I don't think it's not even going to be worth it. Uh, I have Nonito Dornier winning by knockout third round. Uh, Manuel Vargas, man, he's just from a lighter weight class. He just there's a lot of disadvantages here. I think he's a little bit taller though. I think he has kind of a height advantage, but I see him getting knocked out anyway. So I got Nonito Donier by knockout third round. I got Getty, I got uh, Concepcion over Mario Santiago. Uh, Bernard Concepcion wins by knockout. Uh, let's say fifth round and Getty Penalosa versus Eric Morel. Eric Morel winning split decision. Those are my predictions on those fights, and I hope y'all got some info on that, man. I'll try to get at you with something tomorrow, though.